Hey guys, it's me, Smile McGee. Excuse that I am kind of a mess. I just got back from a very long car ride from our vacation, but something is on my mind and I want to share it with you all. So I don't know if you guys follow uh, Tara and Indy. If you're not, you totally should. They're just the sweetest little family. It's this mom, dad, and our little girls. Hey, Brie. And uh, their oldest, Indy, has cancer and she also has Down syndrome. And they have just been through so much as a family. And their faith through it all is just amazing. And tonight, watching her stories, my heart just broke for them. And it reminded me of this quote that someone I love posted who is battling cancer. I actually met her on a sarcoma support group page. I did have a sarcoma. You guys who OG has been following me for a while know that. And she posted something about how God does give you more than you can handle. And I've been thinking about that a lot because as you know, my life is chaos. And I'm super nervous for tomorrow to talk about restarting a med that I want to restart that almost killed me. Like there's a lot that goes into that, like emotionally and a lot of fear. And then my family's no stranger to trials in any other circumstance. <laughs> and like everyone is going through something. But you always hear the quote, especially when you're sick and it's something that you can't control, that God won't give you more than you can handle. And I'm calling bull crap. <laughs> is that okay? When it comes to like a gospel principle? Well, it's not even principle. It's like a gospel saying I'm calling bull crap. And I think there's scriptures that prove that like, that's not the case. Because if you look at the scriptures, I wish I had them right here with me. But he talks about like, come to me who are heavy laden and I will give you rest. Like, let me take my yoke upon you. Let me like take your yoke and put it upon me. Let me carry you through those trials. Let me be the shoulder you lean on and give the weight to during hard times. And that is proof that God gives us more than we can handle. Because if we could handle it, we wouldn't need him. Saying God doesn't give you more than you can handle is saying that you can go through this pain alone. That you're strong enough, you're okay. But God gives you more than you can handle. And that is why he's with you every step of the way if you let him. That just kind of hit me tonight. like, Because I always personally think in my trials, my trials that I need to be strong. I need to suck it up because I've been so blessed. But the scriptures like literally say flat out, like with the atonement, I suffered this for you. So you wouldn't be alone that you could return to heavenly father, lay your burden at my feet and let me take it, put your yoke upon me so I can carry some of the weight. He gives us more than we can handle. And because, of, and he sends angels that we can get through it. But we are always given more than we can handle because we are not meant to go through this world alone. We are meant to learn. We are meant to serve and be served. And I just kind of a mind blowing thought tonight because I've just really been thinking on that quote that God doesn't give us more than we can handle. And he does. And that's one of the greatest things about him is that he lets us grow from these awful soul destroying trials but he is there with us every step of the way even when we cause the pain ourselves i am so grateful so incredibly grateful and i know that heavenly father loves us more than we can say i know the atonement is true and that christ not only suffered for our sins and for our pains and i know we are given more than we can handle but because of christ and the atonement we can get through anything if we have god and by our side and that's just mind-blowing like i thought that was amazing so i just had to share that with you guys <coughs> breathing is a lot harder back home <laughs> but in case you're having a night where you're wondering about that I thought I'd share my thoughts and please keep Tara and Indy in your thoughts tonight because they're just amazing remember you're not meant to go through this journey alone ask God for help let others be angels that God has sent to you. You are not alone in this and you never will be. Remember that and always smile on.